How's it going fellas? So if someone asked you which NBA players do you think have the most money, you might think of someone like Michael Jordan, Magic, Shaq, LeBron, or maybe Kobe. You know, players who were not only superstars but also very successful businessmen. And this guy I'm going to talk about, his business had nothing to do with basketball. This former player has a higher net worth than every other player in NBA history besides MJ and maybe Magic. His name is Junior Bridgman. His net worth is approximately 600 million, higher than Shaq, LeBron, and Kobe. But unlike the other players I mentioned, this guy was never even an all-star in his entire NBA career. Take a look at his career stats. He seemed like he was just an average player. The most notable part of his career was that he got drafted by the Lakers and then he was immediately traded to the Milwaukee Bucks as part of a package for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So he played in the 1970s and 80s, and the highest salary he's ever earned in an NBA season was only 350000 Compare that to players' salaries today, and it's ridiculously low. Even if you adjust for inflation, players like James Harden and Steph Curry recently signed $200 million contracts. So that makes Bridgman's NBA salary seem like nothing. So how did this former player, Junior Bridgman, who retired from basketball in 1987 and nobody even knows who he is today, end up having a higher net worth than all those guys I mentioned earlier? The short answer to that question is one word, Wendy's. While all of his NBA buddies were chilling and partying in the summer, Bridgman was working his tail off, learning about business and building his own fast food empire. Bridgman invested the money he earned from the NBA into purchasing Wendy's restaurants, and by the end of his career he already owned three Wendy's. He eventually created his own company called Bridgman Foods Incorporated after he retired, and the goal of his business was to own and operate many different Wendy's around the country. Over time, his company Bridgman Foods slowly expanded as Bridgman worked really hard and his investments were paying off. Everyone today knows that Wendy's is one of the most popular fast food franchises in the world, and it costs about $1 million on average to purchase an entire restaurant. But back in the 70s and 80s, it was still new and growing. So Bridgman made an incredibly smart investment, and now he's swimming in cash. When looking back at his early success in the food industry, he would be in the kitchen with his employees and manage the restaurant like it was a basketball team, and making sure everyone worked together as one unit. Bridgman would also frequently hang out with NBA team owners in his younger days, trying to learn everything he can about the business world. And he stated that it was an unbelievable education. His ultimate goal was to build a foundation for his family in the future, so they would never have to worry about money again. And over the years, Bridgman has done exactly that. As of recently, he owns over 160 Wendy's and 125 Chili's restaurants, and a bunch of other retail franchises in the Midwest. He worked his way into becoming the second largest Wendy's franchise owner in the United States. He reportedly earns over $530 million in annual revenues and has a personal net worth of over $600 million. And even today, he's still doing business and trying to find the best ways to earn even more. Recently, he started selling some of his restaurants and signed a major deal with Coca-Cola to become a distributor for the company. And right now, he operates his own Coca-Cola business with his son. That's pretty much the story of how this unknown former player became one of the richest in NBA history. I think it's a good story because it shows that there are other things that athletes can do after retirement. Instead of just being an analyst or reporter, you don't need to be really well known to find success in business. According to a 2009 Sports Illustrated article, 60% of NBA players go broke within 5 years after retirement. And it's mainly because some players do not properly manage their finances. Junior Bridgman did do that because he wanted a great life after the NBA. And now, look where he is now. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed that short video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more in the future. See you next time.